Hello friends, welcome to Cygnus Android Tutorials. Today we are going to look at how to install Android ADB USB driver. Uh, recently Android has introduced their new IDE called Android Studio instead of Eclipse IDE. So we are going to look at how to install USB driver, ADB USB driver uh, through Android Studio. So first step is to download the Android SDK. I will show you how to download Android SDK. In Google search type Android SDK and hit enter. The first link that you will be getting is from developer.android.com slash SDK. Open the same and click on download Android Studio for your operating system and choose the accept the license agreement after reading it and click download Android Studio. So it's going to ask you to save a file and uh, since I have already downloaded and installed the software I'm not going to do it right. So you can click on save file and uh, once the file down has downloaded you can double click that so that it will uh, get installed in your machine. So I'm just cancelling uh, cancelling out since I have already installed. So once you install Android Studio, you will be getting on a shortcut in your uh, desktop. If you don't get a shortcut, you can go to Start and search for Android so that uh, you will get it. Here also you can double click and open the Android Studio. So once after installation, double click on Android Studio. So we have completed our first step of downloading and installing Android Studio. We are now at second step where we have to download USB driver. this USB driver we have to download via SDK manager so I will show you how to download via SDK manager Once the Android uh, Studio has opened, go to Tools and in Tools choose Android and in Android go to SDK Manager. So through SDK Manager you can uh, download additional required packages or uh, uh, system images, whatever it is. So right now we are going to uh, use SDK manager to download the USB drivers required for us. So uncheck whatever uh, right now checked. So I have unchecked all other packages which by default uh, the SDK manager recommended me to install. So now I'm going to check for under extras I'm going to check if Google USB driver is installed so when you open it for a first time it will be shown as not installed in those cases you have to put a check mark in front of it only if it is not installed and uh, click on install packages so since I have already installed so I'm not getting install packages instead I'm getting delete package so this is how you have to install Google USB driver through Android SDK manager. So you can close it since I have already installed. So we have completed our second step. Our third step is to connect Android device with PC using USB cable. So take your Android Android device or phone and connect it to your PC using a USB cable. So, 
the next step is to i have already connected my pc with the usb cable so now now i am going to show you the fourth step of enabling debugging mode in android device so this is my android device so i'm going to show you how to enable debugging mode for enabling debugging mode go to settings Under settings, you should see a uh, option which says developer options. So if you are uh, if you are using developer options for a very first time, you will not see that option at all. So for those cases when you don't see developer options in your settings, you go to about phone. And uh, there you can see build number. So just tab continuously for 5 to 10 times on build number. So let's see what happens if I do it. So just tabbing on build number. So now I am it, um, it says no need you are already a developer. So when you tab the build number the developer options will be enabled if you have not enabled before. So go, click on developer option and turn on developer options and then click on enable usb debugging so here you can see usb debugging which is already checked but for you it will be unchecked you have to check it and you can optionally choose other options like uh, stay awake and uh, show touches So once you enable USB debugging, there will be a new device added in your uh, device manager. I will show you. So to get into device manager, go to run and type sysdm.cpl and click ok go to hardware and device manager so you i will show you this screenshot which is expected so as soon as you connect your device uh, to your pc and enable debugging mode you will see a new device added probably under other devices and that will have hello exclamation as you can see here so now we are going to remove that hello exclamation by installing the proper driver so Say for example you see a hello exclamation on this device, right click it and click on update driver software and go to browse my computer for driver software. So we are actually going to choose the path where we have uh, downloaded, downloaded our uh, USB driver in our step 2. So most of the time it will be downloaded to this location which I am highlighting right now. It is uh, C drive and then users and then your username and app data local android sdk. So if, if it is not available over there I would recommend you to go to uh, C drive and search for SDK so you have to identify the folder which says Android SDK so that is probably the path in your machine we have to look for the folder with the name SDK
so we got it so this is the folder in my uh, pc so sdk slash user slash username app data local android so that's the same same path that i have given over here so the usb driver which we have uh, downloaded in step 2 will be available under extras and google usb driver so this is the path c drive sdk c drive users username and then app data local android sdk extras google and usb driver so we have to choose this path over here before choosing click on let me pick from the list of devices on my computer and choose Android ADB interface then click on have disk and here you have to choose the path as I said you have to get into the path that we have navigated earlier so extras Google and USB driver so there you have to choose Android win USB it's an INF file and once you choose it click open and click OK click next so it's going to give you a warning before updating the driver you can click yes so after this installation your ADB driver would have installed successfully and uh, you, you will not see an exclamation mark in your Android device driver so this is how you install your Android driver, Android ADB USB driver. So when uh, the system is asking you to restart, go ahead and restart, click S and restart. Since I have already installed, I am not going to restart my machine now. So click cancel. So we have completed USB driver installation, so as a sixth, sixth step, we will set up ADB path it is an optional step but uh, may require for the advanced users so for setting up ADB path so generally the ADB path will be available under SDK uh, the platform tools is the one where the ADB files will be available so you have to set it as a ADB path. So to set ADB path, let us first pick up the ADB path from the PC. Under the SDK, go to platform tools and choose the path. So this is the ADB path which you have to set in your environment variables go to run and type sysdm.cpl and click on advanced go to environment environment variables and under system variable choose path and double click on it This is my ADB path that, that I have chosen from. Cut the entire variable available. Do not delete anything available. It may impact the uh, other programs installed on your machine. So you have to add this path at the end of whatever available over here. So if this is the one which you have copied just put colon and then the ADB path of your machine so take it again and paste it over here and click ok click ok again click ok so this is how you have to set the ADB path which will be very useful in our uh, later Android development so I hope uh, this video is helpful do share your comments and suggestions so I will meet, meet you in my next video. Thank you.